In what is perhaps the best ban list in many years, Konami has done something completely unprecedented. Monstrous. Scandalous. Even. Demonic. Now, although to be fair, the bar for worst ban list possible is not very high. I'm talking about releasing a Forbidden Limit list on a weekend, a Saturday at 5pm. Yes, in the middle of two national championships and a YCS. Konami just drops a list mid-round. Anything to hurt content creators is A-OK -okay in my book. Those guys are the stupidest people ever. And by the way, according to this, it is not restricted to the original sources. So you don't even know this, but if you're a content creator watching this right now, you're now banned because Abyss Actor's coming in the next pack. Ah! <laughs> Oh, and by the way, subscribe to my second channel for more raw, unrefined highlights. Speaking of unrefined, look, I'm sorry about the mess in the back. I've just moved in. I'm lazy. Just, just stop. Just, okay. And my Patreon shoutouts go to... Debio, Joseph, Gordon, Faye, and Fakalas. Without your Patreon support, this channel would not be able to function, mostly. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, it's that time of the year where I took to the polls and I asked the brain dead bird app for their opinion. So I generally support human rights, but 75% of my followers out of 4,000 voters stated that they felt positive to very positive about this ban list. Over on YouTube, that number was about 5% higher and 80% of 18,000 voters stated that they felt this new TCG list was positive to very positive as well. Now, an overwhelming majority of players seem to actually quite enjoy this list. And that's on both platforms, although 5% extra on YouTube. And I wonder why that is. Maybe you guys just hate Cyberstein more. Let's find out why people like this ban list more. Cyframe Gear Gamma got limited and let's be real, that card is absolutely toxic. Now I legitimately feel like Chaos Ruler was inadvertently banned because of the interaction of Cyframe Gear Gamma going first. Because resolving Gamma going first against an Ash Blossom was... well... I came, I saw, <laughs> and I came again. <laughs> they deleted old Cyberstein, who naturally was probably worth banning, considering how for a measly singular life point it could summon 5,000 fusion monsters. Now come on, when have you ever seen Cyberstein do anything remotely fun or enjoyable that isn't summoning exterior or being infinitely activated under the psychic equip spell with Reprodocus? You want that in the game? Okay. Super Heavy Samurai Scarecrow. Now nobody is upset about this. Except for the people that had to buy a rare that had one singular printing nine years ago from Next Challengers for $20. But Link 1s were a mistake. Everyone knows this and put it this way. The mark of a format being bad is usually in the number of hand traps required. Especially Droll and Lockbird. Diablosis the Mind Hacker. So I want to say that even on release, this card had absolutely poor card design. Rip a card out of your extra deck and then deletes most of your deck. All it required was some combo or archetype to abuse sevens and banishing. Well then guess what? Konami went and created an entire archetype based on Diablosis. No, that is my unpopular, unhinged tinfoil hat conspiracy take. They didn't make Kashtira because of the lore. They literally invented Vaisas's fourth persona just to build a deck around Diablosis. Vaisas Starfrost. <laughs> Sounds like a Gundam Wing fanfiction. I'll kill you. Combining all the Kashtira hits, we had Unicorn limited to two, not one, but two, because I guess if you draw it, it's fine, but if you don't draw it, it's also fine. Rise Heart to one is kind of interesting. It's a disgusting, overpowered centrifugal force in a format that demands you answer a 3000 attack, sometimes indestructible, macrocosmos boss monster. Well, I suppose that begs the question, do you think Kashtira is still the best deck post ban list? Leave a comment down below and I will pretend to read it, probably replying with something like, oh, what an interesting point, that's very valid. Thank you for raising that. A pointer ban. Now, have any of you tried playing Edison format? Do you know how Dust Shoot is like super unfun? Imagine Dust Shoot, but also for spells and searchable by thrust, branded expulsion. And I think this might be one of the first times in history Konami hits the root of the problem instead of the symptoms. Remember when we banned like seven tuner monsters because of Halka Fibrax for four years? And then guess what? <laughs> All of those tuners slowly but surely just came back to the game. Weird. 
Who could have seen that coming? Now, as a mercy for all four of the gimmick puppet players in the world, Konami decided to attack the root of the problem rather than hitting the gimmick puppet or Ido or the 19 other toxic cards you could hypothetically summon off of Expulsion. They decided to hit Expulsion. And so that way, it's a win-win for everyone. Branded doesn't have to play this terrible trap card. And gimmick puppet players continue to play their tier 47 deck in Basis. Gee, Batman, I think we call that justice. Blaster, Dragon Ruler of Infernos, is now back at one. And I honestly feel like these guys could just go to one each and nothing would really happen. You'd probably get like a B tier Dragon Ruler Rocket Link variant deck at best, especially with no Tomahawk or Aurora Dawn. Math Mech Circular to one. Oh boy. Contentious and daring, are we? Well, now the consistency of having nine copies of Circular drops to like seven, I guess? Oh no, I guess I'll- Summon update, update. summon transcode, summon, summon access. access. The real problem card is update jammer. I will die on this hill, hammer the jammer. Dang long, first of the Yang Zing, because it's been too dang long. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know what's going to abuse this the most. Please don't say Sword Soul. You don't know what you're talking about. Maybe Zephra? Manadium, potentially? Are we gonna see Meadow Fo Yang Zing again? Bear with me. What if... Hold that thought. What if Yang Zings are the deck to take advantage... <laughs> Why would the deck that the boss monster belongs to be the one that is actually used? <laughs> That's like saying Preda Plant Verte Anaconda is good in Preda Plants. Like... <laughs> Huh. Yeah, we just abused that for like two years on Dragoon and DP, didn't we? Pearly Delicious Memories. I don't know anything about Pearly. I've tried so hard to learn that deck. I just can't learn it or wrap my head around it. Super Heavy Samurai, I think I can play that pretty well. Pearly, on the other hand, I'm just gonna give you a meme. They took its fucking memories. Please do not take away my delicious memories. I need them or else I will starve. Naturia Sacred Tree got limited specifically because discarding off of every runic card was a little broken. And I don't know how I feel about this. Non once per turn card effects in Yu-Gi-Oh are fun. They're also sometimes pretty busted and unfair. I mean, can you really compare Naturia Sacred Tree to Infernity Archfiend? I mean, come on. Well, that's basically it for all of the cool main stuff. I mean, there was a whole bunch of semi limits and unlimits that no one cares about except Sky Striker players and <laughs> I, I, I'm I've personally I'm so looking forward to seeing Engage draw Engage again. How about you? Despite the fact these 2019 etc toss format decks keep coming, uh, one has to really question and ask where, where Colossus? Colossus? Where Electromite? I think I forgot something. If you forgot it, then it wasn't important. Yeah, you're probably right. Where is Gazelle? You have to really feel for something like Lightning Storm to two. It's, um, I mean, it's just kind of more frustrating if you fall victim to it, but I guess it's also kind of broken versus back row decks, isn't it? Well, like one less copy gives you two and one with Duster, so you're still terrified for your life every single time you go post siding as a trap player, but maybe 7% less terrified? Gen X ally Birdman and Samsara Lotus are back, so if you get FTK'd well, then just know that if you're a 30 year old boomer like myself, you shouldn't have thrown away your Nokia 3310 because because guess what? Morphtronics are back, baby! Let's go! I don't know what's going on with my content. Why don't you subscribe and find out more? Maybe donate on Patreon to really keep me afloat here. As you can see, I'm basically homeless out here. All right, thanks everyone for watching. Until next time, adios.